The sun hung high, casting a golden hue over the sand. The sky was a vivid blue, with not a cloud in sight. It was an ideal Florida day, the kind that graces postcards. Tourists lounged on the white sand, soaking up the warmth. They read books, sipped cold drinks, and let the gentle sound of the waves wash over them. Children shrieked with joy as they splashed in the turquoise water, their laughter mingling with the calls of seagulls overhead. Everything seemed perfect. The beach was a haven of peace and joy. Then, something changed. The water, usually so clear you could see the bottom, turned murky. It was as if a veil had been drawn over the ocean. A strange smell, like rotten eggs, drifted in on the breeze. It was faint at first, but grew stronger, causing people to wrinkle their noses in disgust. Fish swam erratically near the surface, their movements frantic and disoriented. It was an unusual sight, one that caught the attention of many beachgoers. Some even beached themselves, gasping for air. The sight of the struggling fish added to the growing sense of unease. What had been a scene of pure joy became tinged with unease. Conversations hushed and people began to gather their belongings, casting wary glances at the water. The lifeguard, a seasoned veteran, noticed the shift. His trained eyes scanned the horizon, searching for any signs of danger. He had seen all sorts of things in his years on the job. But this was different. This was unsettling. His gut told him something was very wrong. He blew his whistle, the sharp sound cutting through the air, calling everyone out of the water. The urgency in his tone left no room for hesitation. He didn't know what was happening, but he knew it was better to be safe than sorry. His priority was the safety of the beachgoers. News of the strange occurrences spread quickly. People whispered to each other, speculating about the cause of the murky water and the erratic fish. Soon, scientists from nearby universities arrived. They came equipped with tools and instruments, ready to investigate the anomaly. They began taking water samples and conducting tests. Their faces were serious, their movements methodical as they worked to uncover the mystery. No one could have predicted what they would find. The results of their tests were shocking, revealing something unprecedented. The serene facade of the Florida coast was about to be shattered. The beach, once a symbol of relaxation, now held an ominous feeling. A secret lurked beneath the waves, something ancient and powerful, waiting to be discovered. The day at the beach had taken a strange turn, and the mystery was just beginning to unfold. Divers descended into the depths, eager to uncover the secrets beneath the murky waters. What they discovered left them in awe. The seabed was no longer a smooth expanse of sand. Instead, it was dotted with peculiar rocky formations. These formations were jagged and black, appearing completely out of place. They were massive, stretching as far as the eye could see. Some rose from the seabed like enormous twisted fingers. Others formed arches and caverns, their dark openings swallowing the ocean light. The divers had never encountered anything like it. They brought samples of the rock to the surface, where geologists eagerly analyzed them. The composition was unlike any natural rock found in Florida. It was volcanic. But how could that be possible? Florida was not near any known volcanic zones. The discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community, challenging their understanding of Florida's geology. A mystery had emerged, one that demanded answers. Could there be a hidden volcano just off the coast of Florida? The clues started to accumulate. The peculiar rock formations were just the start. Researchers noticed rising temperatures in the region. The water was significantly warmer than normal. And that rotten egg smell? It was sulfur, a typical volcanic gas. Geologists began analyzing seismic data from the area. They detected small, yet frequent tremors. These tremors, they realized, weren't due to tectonic plate movements. They were volcanic tremors, the unmistakable sign of magma shifting beneath the Earth's crust. The news spread rapidly. Could Florida, famous for its sunshine and beaches, actually harbor an active volcano? The idea seemed absurd, even impossible. Yet the evidence was undeniable, staring them in the face. The scientific community was buzzing with excitement. Some dismissed the findings as mere anomalies. Others, however, saw signs of something much more significant, something potentially dangerous. The question wasn't whether there was a volcano, but what would happen if it erupted? 
The mere possibility of an eruption sent chills down everyone's spines. The thought of such a catastrophic event was enough to make even the bravest among us shudder. It wasn't just the immediate danger that was terrifying, but the long-term consequences that loomed over us like a dark cloud. The potential aftermath was horrifying. Entire communities could be obliterated in an instant, leaving behind nothing but rubble and memories. The scars left on the landscape would be a constant reminder of nature's fury. An undersea eruption wouldn't resemble the dramatic, cone-shaped explosions we see in movies. It would be different. It would be a silent, creeping menace, lurking beneath the waves, waiting to unleash its destructive power. It would be insidious. The danger would come not with a bang, but with a series of subtle, almost imperceptible changes. The ocean would begin to churn, the water would grow warmer, and the sea life would start to behave erratically. First, there would be the explosions themselves. These would be powerful enough to send shockwaves through the water, creating a ripple effect that would be felt for miles around. Superheated magma, meeting the cold ocean water, would create enormous pressure. This pressure would build and build until it could no longer be contained, resulting in a series of violent eruptions. This would cause a series of violent blasts. Each explosion would send plumes of ash and steam into the water, creating a deadly cocktail of heat and toxic gases. These blasts wouldn't just rock the ocean floor, they would send shockwaves through the water, causing tremors that could be felt on land. They would cause tsunamis, giant waves capable of devastating coastal cities. These waves would travel at incredible speeds, giving people little time to evacuate. Then there was the issue of the volcanic gases. These gases, released into the water, would be lethal to marine life. The once vibrant coral reefs would become barren wastelands. These gases, released into the water, would be lethal to marine life. The once vibrant coral reefs would become barren wastelands. The delicate balance of the marine ecosystem would be thrown into chaos. The once vibrant coral reefs would become barren wastelands. The colorful fish and other marine creatures that called these reefs home would be gone, leaving behind a desolate underwater landscape. Fish would die by the millions. The ocean, once teeming with life, would become a graveyard. The stench of decay would fill the air, and the water would turn murky and dark. The entire ecosystem would be thrown into chaos. The delicate balance that had taken centuries to establish would be destroyed in a matter of days. The ripple effects would be felt throughout the food chain, affecting everything from the smallest plankton to the largest predators. And what about the millions of people living along the Florida coast? They would be in the direct path of any tsunamis. The waves would crash into their homes, sweeping away everything in their path. They would be in the direct path of any tsunamis. The waves would crash into their homes, sweeping away everything in their path. The destruction would be total, leaving behind a landscape of devastation and despair. They would face the devastation of their homes and livelihoods. The places they had lived and worked their entire lives would be gone, leaving them with nothing but the clothes on their backs. The thought of a volcanic eruption was not just frightening, it was a stark reminder of the awesome power that lay beneath our feet. It was a reminder that, despite all our technological advancements, we are still at the mercy of nature. It was a stark reminder of the awesome power that lay beneath our feet. The forces that shape our world are beyond our control, and we must always be prepared for the unexpected. The sleeping giant may awaken at any moment, and when it does, we must be ready to face its wrath. The notion of an underwater volcano erupting might sound like a scene from a disaster film, but such events have occurred before. These submerged giants, hidden beneath the ocean's surface, can unleash immense power, transforming landscapes and ecosystems in unimaginable ways. In 2011, an underwater volcano erupted near the Canary Islands. This event served as a stark reminder of our planet's dynamic and ever-changing nature. The eruption led to the creation of a new island, a phenomenon that captivated the world's attention. This new landmass emerged from the ocean, showcasing the raw power of volcanic activity. It also released vast quantities of volcanic material. The lava and ash discharged into the water had significant impacts on marine life and water quality, creating a ripple effect felt far beyond the immediate vicinity. 
this material disrupted air travel. Ash clouds from the eruption reached high into the atmosphere, posing a serious hazard to aircraft and leading to widespread flight cancellations and delays. It also caused extensive environmental damage. The eruption's impact on the ocean's ecosystem was profound, affecting everything from water chemistry to marine habitats. Then there's Stromboli, a volcanic island off the coast of Italy. Known as the Lighthouse of the Mediterranean, Stromboli has been a beacon of volcanic activity for centuries. It's been erupting almost continuously for the past 2,000 years. This constant activity has shaped the island's landscape and influenced the lives of its inhabitants. In 2019, a particularly powerful eruption sent a pyroclastic flow across the island. This deadly mix of hot gas and volcanic matter moved at incredible speeds, leaving destruction in its wake. This flow killed one person and injured several others. The event was a tragic reminder of the dangers posed by living near an active volcano. And let's not forget the massive 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington state. This eruption was one of the most significant volcanic events in U.S. history. While not underwater, this eruption dramatically demonstrated the devastating power of volcanoes. The explosion was so powerful that it reshaped the mountain and surrounding landscape. It flattened forests, melted glaciers, and sent ash clouds miles into the atmosphere. The environmental and economic impacts were felt for years, affecting everything from air quality to agriculture. These examples serve as a stark warning. They highlight the need for vigilance and preparedness in the face of volcanic threats. They remind us that volcanoes, whether on land or beneath the sea, are a force to be reckoned with. Their eruptions can reshape landscapes, disrupt lives, and alter the course of history. Their eruptions can be devastating, far-reaching, and utterly unpredictable. As we continue to study these powerful natural phenomena, we gain a deeper understanding of the forces that shape our world and the importance of respecting the raw power of nature.